right, so I screwed up the one note. So this is one of my favorite songs, Whiskey Rock and Roller. So let's get go through it really quick. It just starts on a D. Play it anywhere you want. You can play it up here if you want. Fifth fret or tenth fret. All right, so I'll toss the tab up for the solo part. Then it goes C, C, wherever you want it. G, third fret G, A, fifth fret, sixth string. Just bar, little, just playing the fifths. C, G, D, so. So the beginning of the solo is this. 13th, 10th, 2nd string, 12th, 10th, and the 3rd string's off. Try to get a little bit of Viper out of there. Then it's just the C. Then you just walk down from the 7th fret on the 4th string. I kind of pick them all down, down strokes. And then I pull up on that 3rd fret F. I don't think Ed King does that. I think he's up here like... He goes like... This is what I do. So it's just seven, six, five, three, five, on the D, fifth string. So, then I do that vibrato. I play fifths a lot with my pinky. I don't know why. That's a good thing to work on, just doing this. All right, maybe I do that a little bit too much. Then it starts on the, solo starts on the 12th fret of the G, pinky on the 13th fret, and you just bend up. So you're bending up to the A, make sure you hit it. Pull it down. 12, 12, 10, 12. I use my third finger, then my pinky. For this next part on the tab, check the tab. 12, 12 on the fourth and second. 10th on the third. It says. I pick up on all those. I go down, then up, up, down, up, up. And you do this little, you roll your thumb, you roll your third finger down onto the fourth, onto the third string from the fourth string. And then you got the vibrato, see it? So it's like, oh, I forgot about that. You gotta hit that 10th fret D. This is a D. This is just like an F. It's you know, your D chord. So it's just. So it's. This sweet note right here, D on the 15th. Love that part. So it's and it's that thirteenth, and you bend it up just like just like down here. Same thing. Yeah, you're pre-bending, so you're up here. Actually, it might just be a signal, though. You could do it. whatever you want to do there. Just 12 to 
10 on the third string. You could put this down. So. so, 12, 10, 12 on the fourth. Then you do this little bar of the 10th fret of the fourth and third string. Hammer on on the fourth string to the 12th. I slide, I slide down on the fifth string, 10th, 12th to 10th. Fifth string, fifth fret, five seven, six string, seventh, six string, B. So I'm pulling the hammer, I'm pulling up, sliding up. do that I'm, I'm using my I'm plucking, I'm plucking those two I don't know I guess you guys don't really have to do that so after we, are, we get past that then it's just so, so you're on the D then you just like slide it down to the C Firing the second and third string on the 12th, pulling back to the F on the third string, 10th fret. Then it goes into Whiskey Rock and Rollers. G. I'm not gonna do that other solo. You guys just do whatever you want. It's just like. Whatever it is. Uh, let's see. It's got that part where where do we go? So it's a G, but I put my third finger down on the D. D chord. Got the D E down on the second. Right? Then I do this part where it's uh it's played octaves. Third fret. Okay, so we're at the D part. I'm back. I'm freezing out and my leg just fell asleep. Ah. Alright, so gotta get, wake up my leg. So we're at the D. Alright, 
outside, so the guitar sounds like crap. It's going right into my right into my computer. Anyways, so here's the way I'm going to do it from now on. I'm going to play this D with my first and second fingers. A D. Walk it up with the E to the F sharp and the fourth string to the G. So just this. Just work on that. to the C, C, D, G, open. I still have my second finger down this whole time, so it's... That hasn't moved. Finally it moves up to the G. So it's G, A, B. So I'm not even used to playing it like this, so I'm going to have to work on that myself. Anyways, that's how that goes. You know, if you on. That's enough of that. Have a good weekend.